You're such a handsome dog. I think that every time I look at you. <coughs> Lady Cecily, I lived with her after my mother died, had a dog. A small one, bred to fit under the arm and in the lap. What did you name it? Oh, yes. Bonbon. Bon. Oh, Bonbon bon was a terror. He would hide, you know, when he saw you coming. And then he would attack your ankles. Rather sharp teeth in the ankles. Very painful. He attacked me once. Latched onto my leg. I thought it was a diseased rat and kicked. Bonbon bon flew across the room and over the banister. He survived. But he never came near me after that. A moron for all we know. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Yes? Who might you be? I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Then what might I do for you? I was there at the farmhold. The beast stood there, wet with the blood of the children. He didn't even deny slaughtering them. The revered mother ordered him caged. She has more mercy than I do. But perhaps she is right. And the Maker has love for all his creations, even the Kunari. The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. In her study, no doubt, preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. If the matter is important, certainly. Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us, none of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. None that we know of. Teon Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero, and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner, and the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. Now, unless there's something else you need... They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need. If the matter is important, certainly. Now, unless there's something else you need. I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Maker's breath. How many times must we drive them off? Indeed, they're gone. It's true. I saw the bastard running for the hills myself. That's an impressive feat indeed. Will you accept a small reward for your efforts? That is very generous of you. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside full of quests that need doing. 
The Chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. I cannot openly help you, I fear, but... Here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light. Fear and ignorance. Let those who cry out from the shadows be comforted. Let those who seek redemption be delivered. Let those who have sinned be forgiven. To all four corners of the world, let it rise at last to the ears of the Maker. Let him hear our unwavering faith. Let him hear our Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I am the revered mother of this Chantry. Traditionally, those who seek my blessing tithe first. Might I suggest 30 silver? One out of one is a more generous gift than ten out of thousands. What can I do for you then? It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. And what do you say on this, Leliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. And then shall the Maker return to us. And then shall the Maker return to the Black City in Heaven. It's done. And then shall the Chant of Light make it pure. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the Maker, how are you? I, I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. But if Arl Eamon is sick, why are you here? Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. My mission takes priority, but I fear I shall be returning to Redcliffe with nothing to show for my efforts. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the Prophetess Andraste, Surely you know all this. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. My fellow knight and travelling companion, he is delayed, though. What? 
And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Why is that, if I may ask? I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tern Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Ah, oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. Let all mankind be humble. Let all repeat the chant of life. So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Oh, you never know, right? I... no, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps? I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. As you like. You've got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> need blades right now. We need beds, food, and an end to all these sad sots. I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Have any luck finding herbs in the wood? This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. You wish something more of me. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Oh, blast it. Yes. Indeed.
Why are you here? What do you mean? Women are priests, or merchants, or, or artists, I'll get on it. or farmers. None of those have any place fighting. I have no idea how to answer this. It is not done. There is no more to it. Do you mean your people have no female mages or warriors? Of course not. Why would our women wish to be men? What are you talking about? They don't wish to be men. They shouldn't. That can only lead to frustration. Stan! No, never mind. Let's drop this. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! As you wish. Breaking us. Hey, watch it. Ha! 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 Now, watch out. Later. Taken as long as it did. You get no mercy from me. I'll get on. Oh. Ha. Die already. Day. Oh. Ha. Oh. Ah. Let's Make see what you do. Oh. Right. That's what it is then. Oh. I'll try to be. Can I get you a ladder uh, so you can get off my uh, back? You are sorry. Uh, right, uh, all right. Uh, Make his breath. Defend yourself. Push 
Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Yes. I shall. As you like. I love how desperate you are. You're pathetic! You get no mercy from me! It's embarrassing! Oh, let's grab some glory! <sighs> Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back. Breaking a sweat already? Ha! Got it. I see enemies ahead. Now's better than later. Got it. I shall.
You're gonna regret this! I never liked this part. Right, all right. Enough! Got it. Right. Ah, hopeless. It's a good day to die. And stay down. As yes. you like. As you wish. So be it. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And Eileen spoke unto the masses, My hearth is yours, my bread is yours, my life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. <laughs> Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's Chanter Devons. One of them that can only say the Chant of Light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof once, and the Charter paid him, he did. A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the Maker. There's all sorts of things on his board. Even travelling cell swords sometimes turn in postings. Unless it's the chant of light, no. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant, then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. What? Oh, you got him to speak! Ha! <laughs> what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, he cheated. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. You can. Make a preserve us. I shall. Right away. Show them no mercy. I love how desperate you are. You're pathetic. You're gonna regret this! <laughs>
It's a massacre! I never liked this guy! Oh, getting out alive! <laughs> Excellent! Done. I wish we did... ...didn't have to fight these poor creatures. I shall be as you say. Better than later. I go. Let's see what you make. Death draws close. Yes, of course. Mindless creatures. Good to go. Yes, right. All right. <laughs> On it. Done. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right. Someone help us! Make us breath!
in horror as I rip you around. <laughs> 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 I'll do it. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Fair enough. Allow me to say thank you again. And bid you farewell. Say goodbye, my boy. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we?